It's autumn here in Krakow, a tad more windy, perpetually wet, and a little bit colder. But come winter and then spring, and we'll be right back here in Krakow's main market square, counting down the days to World Youth Day Krakow 2016. To get a glimpse into St. John Paul II's life, we'll be visiting the sites that shaped Karol Wojtyla and led him on the path to priesthood, and later to Rome as pontiff. For World Youth Day, Krakow 2016 pilgrims looking for various places to visit and seeking to immerse themselves in the life of St. John Paul II, this is a good place to get started. So let's get going before it starts to rain again. A little over an hour from Krakow is the birthplace and childhood home of Karol Wojtyla. As Pope John Paul II famously said during his 1999 pilgrimage to Poland, in Wadowice, this is where it all began. Indeed, steps away from the family home stands the church where he was baptized and served as an altar boy. Since the beatification of Pope John Paul II, one of the proudest days in the town's history, the Basilica of the Blessed Virgin Mary is steadily becoming a major pilgrimage site. Another reason why Wadowice will be an attractive destination for pilgrims during World Youth Day, the family home of John Paul II. The apartment where the young Karol Wojtyla was born and raised up until the age of 18 with his father has been transformed into a modern-day museum, housing common childhood souvenirs, mementos from Karol Wojtyla's priesthood, and replicas from Rome, among many other expositions, such as the World Youth Day Room. The expanse of the museum, making use of the remaining floors where the Wojtyla family's neighbors lived, as well as the interactive multimedia, is sure to offer a one-of-a-kind experience. And don't forget to sign the guest book. A half hour away from Wadowice is Kalvaria Zebrzydowska, and at the highest elevated point of the village lies the Basilica of St. Mary, looked after by the Bernadines. Inside the basilica is the icon of St. Mary of Calvaria. All of Pope John Paul II's adoration and prayers gravitated towards St. Mary of Calvaria when he visited the monastery during his first and last visit to Poland. Pope John Paul II's deep veneration for this 400-year-old pilgrimage site is rooted in his adolescent days, as this was where Karol and his father traveled to take part in the annual reenactments of the Passion and Crucifixion. The Stations of the Cross are represented as chapels scattered across the hilly terrain that vaguely resembles the topography of Jerusalem in the Holy Land. Traversing through this landscape, Karol Wojtyla, Motherless since the age of nine, dwelled in deep prayer and meditation at Calvaria. This was his infinite source of solace and comfort. Upon arriving to Krakow, Karol Wojtyla begins his studies at the Jagiellonian University. Together with his father, they lived in a small, modest home not too far from the shores of the Vistula River, in the neighborhood of Dembniki. 
Karol and his father attended Mass at the nearby church belonging to the Salesians. At this church that Karol Vaitua found a parish to call a home, or a home to call a parish. Within the prayer circle called the Loving Rosary, religious services always had a special dedication to St. Mary, advocate of the faithful. The individual who would later strengthen Karol Vaitua's faith even further and inspire him to walk the path towards priesthood was a man by the name of Jan Tiranovsky, a self-repelled scholar, hobbyist, polyglot, and even a hiker. Jan would later be designated as a servant of God, the first of the four stages to sainthood. Under his wing and guidance, he was able to come to a certain realization, one that he would carry with him for the rest of his life. However convinced I was that St. Mary helps to lead us to Jesus Christ, little did I know that through Christ we would be led directly to Mary herself. Further south of the Vistula River is the Divine Mercy Sanctuary, located in the district of Wagevniki. Karol Wojtyła frequently prayed at the monastery complex run by the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy, as it was not too far from the chemical plant where he worked. Later as Pope, he consecrated the newly built basilica in 2002, which is dedicated to the Divine Mercy devotion. The significance of the Sanctuary of the Divine Mercy is rooted in the life and work of Saint Sister Faustina Kowalska. Sister Faustina Kowalska was a mystic and writer of the world-renowned Message of the Divine Mercy. She died at the young age of 33. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because St. Faustina is the patron saint of World Youth Day Krakow 2016, alongside St. John Paul II, which is why St. Faustina is mentioned in the official World Youth Day Krakow 2016 prayer. Allow the spark of merciful love that you have enkindled within us become a fire that can transform hearts and renew the face of the earth. Mary, Mother of Mercy, pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. Devout Catholics all around the world send their intentions to this Polish saint when they recite the chaplet of the Divine Mercy. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Our next stop is the Bishop's Palace, located one small medieval street away from the main market square. The Bishop's Palace is the official residence of the bishops in Krakow. As a young seminarian during German occupation up until the end of World War II, Karol Wojtyła sought refuge here to avoid being captured and imprisoned. During his papal visits to Poland, enormous crowds would gather in front of the palace, just as they would in St. Peter's Square. At night, he would deliver sermons and talk with his fellow Poles. Because the front of the bishop's palace had no balcony, Pope John Paul II had to stand at the base of the window. At the eastern end of the city is a gigantic and undeveloped green meadow. In the past, Buonia Field served as open space for athletic events and outdoor expositions, as well as military drills. Even further back, it was used as a pasture for Krakow's sheep and cattle. This patch of green grass in an otherwise urbanized city was used as a site for Pope John Paul II's meetings with the people and Holy Mass. For that reason, it can in a way be looked at as Krakow's largest church. To commemorate all the meetings Pope John Paul II had with the faithful, a monolith of a rock was placed at the edge of Buonia Field. The rock is one of only two monuments found within the boundaries of this grassy field, and there are no plans to build any kind of buildings on this site, as it has been labeled a historical landmark. The list of places you can visit for yourself during World Youth Day Krakow 2016 is of course much larger than this. We'll make sure to keep you informed in the coming months so you can enrich your itinerary. That being said, see you in Krakow.